so we are starting with operating cash flow before working capital changes this we've already done we start with operating profit you add the non cash expense non operating expense and you will deduct the non operating income that is profit on sale of your non current asset so you get operating profit before working capital changes are you with me are you with me yeah yeah okay. fine now working capital changes you have to see that means you have to see your changes in your current assets and current liabilities okay can you name the current assets and current liabilities for me current so, assets in, increase current asset if it increase you will have to subtract it can you name the I current mean, assets for me okay it would be your inventory receivables inventory trade receivables trade and other receivables and name your current liability yeah. for me it's a trade and other payables Trade payables and other payables. Will you take bank uh, cash and bank balance? What ness? Will you take cash and bank balance? Will you take cash and bank balance? Will you take cash and bank balance in your current assets and current liabilities? No. No, you will not take because that is the end point. So when you're talking about hey, Miss, can you hear me? When you're talking about current assets and current liabilities, you will exclude your cash and bank balance. Okay. So once you get operating cash flow before working capital changes what do you do if there is an increase in your current assets if current asset is increasing you will subtract yeah with me if current asset is decreasing yeah you will add current asset Idea. works in opposite direction if current asset is decreasing you will add if current asset is increasing you will subtract why do i do this say for example inventories if your inventory is increasing that means your money is blocked so negative cash flow so if current asset is increasing you will subtract if current asset is reducing you will add current assets will work in opposite direction but for current liabilities what will you do if current liability is increasing you will add and if current liability is decreasing what will you do you will subtract are you with me subtract yeah so this is called cash generated if its answer is positive you will get cash generated from operations if the answer is negative you will say cash used in operations so you have operating cash flow before working capital changes then you will do your working capital changes that means you will do your increase or decrease in your current assets and current liabilities are you with me current assets yeah, will work in opposite direction current liabilities will work in the same direction current asset increase subtract current asset decrease add current liabilities increase add current liability decrease subtract with me if the answer yeah. is positive it will be cash generated from operations if the answer is negative it will be cash used in operations let's do it with one example over here this is the beginning of the year and this is the end of the year you will always say current assets opposite direction 
current liability same direction come on current asset is reducing or increasing reducing so you will add it okay other receivables it is increasing so you will increase it add it it is increasing so you will deduct oh, receivables okay sorry okay Cash and cash equivalent is always yeah. at the end, so you will ignore. Okay. Trade payables. What is it with trade payables? Increasing, so you'll increase it. It will link. It is increasing, so you will add it. So you know you have to add or subtract the things. Are you with me? Yeah. Come on. So how will your statement look like? Can you tell me? First point will be what? Inventory. Sorry? Add increase inventory. First point. Okay. Add decrease in inventory. Decrease in inventory. Okay? Mm -hmm. then increase in trade and other receivables will be subtracted. An increase in trade and other payables would be added. Are you with me? And you will get cash yeah. generated from operations. What you will get? Cash generated from operations. Okay. It is... Uh, this is how it will look like. Sort of. Yeah. Decrease in inventory is... Did added increase in other receivables is subtracted current asset opposite direction current asset opposite direction so this is decreasing but here it is added it is increasing so here it is subtracted current liabilities same direction it is increasing so you will add it so you will add it Okay, so your statement will look like this. This is in continuation of the work example. You start with what? Cash flow from? Operating activities. Then you will have what? Profit from operations. Operating profit. Then you will add the depreciation and loss on sale of assets. You get operating cash flow before working capital changes. Working capital changes, yeah. Then you do your working capital changes. Then you will get cash generated. It will create the cash. Then, then you will get what? Cash generated from operations. Operations. Please write the format once. I think there is some issue in the internet. I can't hear you at all. Yeah. Wait, what now? Yeah, sure. This is the format again. You start with cash flow from operating activities. You have operating profit. Then you add non-cash, non-operating expenses and you deduct non-operating income. You get operating cash flow before mm. working capital changes. Then you do your working capital changes. That means current assets in same direction, current liabilities in opposite. Current assets in opposite direction, current liability in same direction. You will get cash generated or cash used in operations. Okay? After that, if you have any interest that you have actually paid to the bank or to the debentures, you are going to deduct that interest. Interest on bank loan, interest on debentures and even the tax that you've actually paid. Are you repeating? Actually paid interest and actually paid tax. The amount that you actually pay, not what you book. The amount that you actually pay, what you actually pay, okay, that you will deduct 
that you will get net cash from operating activities. Please understand cash generated from operations and net cash from operating activities are two different things. This is very important to note over here. Cash generated yeah. from operations is after working capital changes. From that, when you deduct your actual interest paid, actual tax paid, you will get net cash from operating activities. And this is, we end the uh, cash flow from operating activities. If you have your cash generated from operations, that is 241,750, you say interest paid is this much, 750, for a bank loan and 24,000 is interest, debenture interest. Tax payable for 2018 was 3,000 and for 2019 is 4,000. Can you tell me how much is the tax that you have actually paid? 3,000. How you know you've paid 3,000? Tax for last because it's the end of the year. Last year, yeah. 2018 is last year. So tax for the last year is paid in current. We'll always pay. Paid in which year? Current year. The tax for 2019 will be paid in 2020. The tax 20. for yeah. will be paid in 2019. So you are going to take the tax paid for 2018 because you are making a statement for 2019. Are you with yeah. me? So from this, you will subtract interest paid, tax paid. You will get the net amount, net cash from operating activities. I don't want you to do this example. Rather, I want you to directly do this activity number four. Okay, oh. I did activity number four yeah. and I'll get back to you. We're doing this activity four. Okay, after you do the activity mm. four, the marking scheme is attached just next to it. Okay, you have to be very careful. I'm telling again and yeah. again cash generated from operations is different from net cash from operating activities. If you want to go from cash generated from operations to net cash from operating activities, you have to minus interest, minus tax that is actually paid. Are you with me? And tax yeah. of the last year will be paid in the current year. In the current year. That also. Okay.